Exactly. Uh, my name is Rad Godin. I'm a professor, assistant professor at um, Nova School of Science and Technology um, of University uh, Nova from Lisbon, Portugal. And uh, I'm here to present a paper regarding the, um, the very uh, rare and scarce information regarding the producers of um, cable, cable harness testing equipment producers. So are we able to see the presentation, right? Can you see the presentation? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Thank you. So first uh, we need to have a contextualization of the of uh, why uh, um, this industry, besides being, it's a crucial part of uh, automotive industry, but the information regarding these specific producers, it's very scarce. And one of the reasons is doing, due to a mass customization of the product that they're producing. So consumers today search for organizations that can provide customized services for obviously the most affordable prices possible. Therefore, it becomes essential for companies to meet those requirements by creating flexible and resilient production systems. So technological pathways such, such as Industry 4.0 and all the solutions that it can provide can be very helpful in speci specifically, specifically in this type of cases and can represent a positive impact um, in creation of uh, those systems uh, to the integration of smart processes and technologies that can contribute to the automation of several activities on within the shop floor activities, those that are made manually or still um, or on paper. So the idea is to, uh, especially in this case, we have a niche market segment, a very niche market segment, However, the, uh, the important is through these tools to um, diminish um, the costs and also the quality um, issues that happen and occur constantly in this industry. So we have um, electrical control functions um, in passenger and commercial and special vehicles are increasingly more complex, especially now that we have um, electric mobility, right? So we have the electrical vehicles, which increases even more the number of cables inside a vehicle. So if the signal power um, cables were to be damaged, the vehicle operation will be gravely affected, resulting in quality uh, challenges, quality problems that can have a direct impact on safety, which in turn can negatively affect the manufacturer's reputation. That's why these cables are all tested um, so in, in regarding, for example, um, sheet stamping or stuff like that, like uh, metalwork pieces that are part of the uh, automotive, uh, a part of car industry, sometimes you can use statistical tools and analysis to, to control the quality. In cases of cables, all cables have to be tested. All, every entrance in every, um, uh, every, exit of these cables and this is the image you can see how have to be tested so what, what in this case what we're going to what was the analyze what analyze this table not the cable itself cable is produced somewhere else what is produced what uh, the niche market is is the producers of this equipment that tests these cables so as you realize since it's very very uh, uh, closely related with the safety uh, the um, pressure and the uh, the, all, the, not only the pressure, but uh, the requirements uh, of uh, the quality standards for this type of producer is, is very, very high. So automotive manufacturers are striving to achieve an every going mass customization since uh, almost there, there is no one vehicle or very rarely there are two vehicle, vehicles that are equal nowadays. They look equal, but they're not. They have differences inside. So that means cables that, that are part of those vehicles are different, meaning that the testing equipment to test those cables has to be different as well. So by offering a wide range of products, allowing all clients to fulfill their needs. So this scenario puts a heavy pressure on cable harness industry, 
which must be flexible as possible to supply all type of cables required to automotive industry, uh, not only all type of cables, but as quick as possible. And those cables has to be the needs to need to have the highest quality as possible. So this pressure is also extended to enterprises of that niche market I was mentioning to that build test equipment for cable harnesses. We're talking about this type of modules that you can see here. They can uh, sometimes they're made of aluminium, sometimes they're made of types of um, plastics. So in this context, the research group was able to plan an industry 4.0 network for, of solutions that meet the requirements of the machining process of a cable harness testing equipment company uh, while compensating its flaws in order to optimize it. So we'll see uh, a little bit uh, further what type of quality problems have um, occurred usually and how industry 4.0 solutions can solve them. So this network is expected to promote the reduction of production cycle times in multiple activities, resulting in a production process that is expected to be more efficient and less prone to flaws, so to reduce quality uh, problems. So there are different types of cables. There are sets of cables uh, for the purpose of transmitting energy and information. Um, there's also connectors that allow the connection between cabling and other elements. There are also derivations that allow the bifurcation of the constituent cables, axles that are installed in strategic locations in the cable, in cable to minimize uh, reactions uh, to adverse conditions such as humidity, shocks, vibrations, among others, and finally clips that connect wiring to the final products. So, this organization belongs to a reduced market niche where the production of this kind of equipment is highly customized and personalized. Um, usually, it's very rare or almost never a, um, um, a cable is made um, again, meaning that every, um, cable, no, every um, single module or every single testing cable equipment um, is slightly or highly different than the previous. So there's very rarely or almost never there's a repetition. And it's usually associated with the small productive uh, orders uh, regarding each product. So in this way, given that one of the main characteristics of this industry is the execution of tremendously diverse tasks, because every different testing equipment requires different tasks, some, sometimes widely different tasks, implementation of automated process has shown to be unprofitable for most organizations so far. So these options require a substantial initial investment and have high setup times, which uh, represent serious drawbacks for this industry. Therefore, in order to address this type of um, uh, quality problems that happen, occur in this niche industry, the integration of um, Industry 4.0 solution, uh, if applied properly and adequately to the reality of this case study that we're going to see, uh, uh, can represent a massive competitive advantage uh, regarding to its competition from an operational, economic, and environmental perspective as well, uh, thus revolutionizing our uh, manufacturing methodologies. So the main objective uh, in this paper is to provide a detailed description of these networks of solutions that could improve the production process performance through the smart automation of diverse activities within the scope of a highly customized industry. So. Uh, the raw material used for production must go through several machining phases, which I'll show the, uh, these um, enterprises, these uh, industrial units flowchart in a while. And where distinct industrial machines such as CNC machining uh, lathes uh, and milling machines, uh, as well as metalwork, uh, are used. So each product is the result of assembling of multiple specific pieces. So these pieces are not produced outside the context of its own project, since every project has a unique set of pieces. This is an example. Uh, it's a, one of the easiest ones. You can see uh, this is the most simplest project that sometimes also vary widely in time of the production uh, of a, a testing piece, so a testing module. So we can see that this testing module, where the cable will be inserted and then tested if the cable works or not, Sometimes it's simple and it can take less than five minutes to build. Sometimes it's a very complex piece with 60, 70 different types of um, holes, which can take up to four hours to uh, produce. So an example specific can be again shown in this picture. 
So, what is the process flowchart? First, at the beginning, we have the uh, orders uh, opening, which is a proposal is elaborated and requirements definition and internal order opening is given. So this is again in a system that already exists and um, it's uh, in formatized. So this is in, in a digital level. And then the, after the project definition um, has to be established. So is the, is the product repeated itself or not? Most, most of the times, almost all the times, no. So that means that there's a elaboration of the drawings and then the verification if everything checks out. Then were the drawings validated? If yes, um, we should make uh, drawings available for production. Uh, if not, there have to be a correction has to be made. So after it's available for production, it has to be validated and elaborated uh, what kind of raw materials um, and all the components list, this can be very ex extensive. And then finally, it, uh, it goes inside the project folder. Finally, this project folder uh, arrives at the process that's going to be analyzed, the machining, uh, old machining process, which has, uh, as I said, CNC, milling, uh, lates, uh, among others. So uh, some, the, um, after the cut of the, uh, and the supplement of materials, um, the assemb after the machining process, it is assembled, is it, does it require adjustment? If yes, uh, it has to um, perform again. If no, um, it is validated and, and uh, after validated by assembly, it goes to electrification. So then it's measured and monitored and it finally it's validated again or not. And if it's uh, validated, then finally it's, uh, it's, it will go to be expedited. It will be expedited. So this study focused on machining process, which starts off the cutting, and then um, there are two different ways. Um, one, some projects require CNC machining, then milling, and then metal work, and other ones it's late and then milling. So, um, so sometimes it's, it's there are simpler. There are the difference between these two processes is that one one is has to be uh, milled from the beginning from scratch. Another one, some pieces uh, um, are received and they are cut, and then from there um, uh, the entire process can can go further. So these usually are, are some standard references that are uh, suffer this. Um, this um, um, this process here. So it varies widely. Sometimes it goes at one CNC and again to milling. Sometimes it goes to four of them, depending on the project. That that's just to illustrate how uh, Adel, can you, it is. Can you speed yes. it up a bit, please? Okay. So the machining uh, area layout is this. It doesn't matter. There are some um, occurrences um, which happen which are quality related issues. For example, abnormal dimensioning or when the change term, there's also losses. Um, there's also simultaneous operations at more than one machine. So there's some challenges regarding resource distributions, uh, corrector metering, uh, failure to detect non-conformities. This is big because sometimes that happens to operators mistakes and this leads to uh, many lost hours in production. So the proposal is this network of solutions, which will um, already, which it has within itself QR codes reading, RFID readings, uh, and then at the end, uh, it also has computer vision systems, especially for quality verification, if uh, because right now the inspection is more manual and not um, and it's not digitized, digitalized. So the flowchart is this. Uh, if you since I have to speed it up, basically, um, if you're more interested in the seven of these solutions, uh, Industry 4.0 solutions applied to the whole process, that basically um, the QR code will trigger two procedures, selection of information relating to this project, and second, identification of the uh, machining phase in which the work is located. And computer vision system is used uh, um, uh, it's used to see if the uh, if the piece complies with the with the drawings, and if non-compliance is uh, identified, then it immediately um, it, it has some 
um, it's going to be intervened. So anyway, the scheme presented below is the new station, working station that already has this, um, this industry 4.0 uh, solutions implemented. You have the RFID reader here, the QR code reader, the workstation computer, which at, uh, at this point it isn't. Right now, when everything is done, it's through paperwork. And finally, computer vision systems, where here the piece is uh, put. Uh, I can show you. So basically, this type of piece where it's analyzed, where computers uh, in uh, real time can give it if it's okay or not. So potential benefits, it will reduce a lot of the uh, paperwork that uh, goes along with these, all these uh, projects, as well as the number of quality problems and mistakes that happen because of that process, which will also be greatly reduced. Um, typing errors, result searching times, and eliminated need to carry out um, compliance and verification, uh, manual verification. So th since the operators here, uh, because of this customizable, very customized type of process has a, a lot of decision making power. The idea is that it's many times it's not the fault of the operator, it's the fault of the system. So if we improve the system, then we can also reduce all types of these um, types of these faults and, and waste that happen. So thank you and sorry for um, calling. Thank you. Thank you, Radu, for your presentation. Uh, I wonder whether in the uh, there are questions for him for this presentation.